Dubai is everyone's favorite holiday destination from all across the world, right? But we have something that they don't actually tell anybody. Instead, they want to keep it a secret, hidden from us and you. Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Middle East North Africa map. Dubai is a glorious city where almost everyone wants to go. But today, we will look at some of the darker aspects of this city that are invisible to anyone. And first of all, let us tell you that most of the people in this city who are brought here to work are not residents. So we can say that this city is a city of gypsies. The population of Dubai is divided into three parts. The first one is Emiratis. The second one is the expats. The third one is workers or low-class people. If you really want to see the dark side of Dubai, you need to explore the lives of this third category that are generally called workers. As far as we have seen, it is a place where life is very attractive. But when we take a closer look, we find that the environment here is not at all conducive to the health of the people, and neither is it. And life is not easy here. Pollution is high here because of the sandstorm and the rush of vehicles that produce smoke and pollution. Noise pollution, soil pollution, air pollution, are all found here, but the media and people there do not highlight this thing, nor is it mentioned so much. The weather in Dubai is so hot that it's impossible to walk five minutes on land. It is due to the city's close proximity to the sea. The temperatures in Dubai are slightly milder in summer in comparison to other Gulf cities such as Kuwait City and Riyadh. However, this means that the city has high humidity, which can make the weather extremely unpleasant in summer. Normal citizens Normal citizens hardly stay out for five minutes in summers. Someone visited the place where all these workers live and this is where the dark side of Dubai actually situated. The accommodation is 12 feet by 12 feet and contains six beds where six to eight workers are living. The food in the kitchen is usually cooked using gas cylinders in a very bad condition. And the biggest reason for the bad weather is that there are no parks. There is no greenery and no fields. That's why the weather here is so hot. But above all, the malls here are excellent and a wonderful place for anyone to imagine a developed country. In Dubai, you will have a lot of fun and life will feel like it is perfect in every way, but complete only when you are a rich man. A lot of people here just come to make money and work and their only purpose here is to put themselves in a good position. No one comes here to build a house. You will find a people with very different personalities here and you will not be able to tell whether they are sincere with you or not. You will find a lot of mixed accents here and the pace of life in Dubai is such that people have become very selfish and no one cares. Here you can easily find deception because it is an industrial city where people come not to live but to earn. But one of the great things about it is that the architecture here is amazing and indicates the taste of the people here. But most of the buildings here are empty because they are extremely expensive and many people cannot afford to go to such expensive places because they have all gone there and cannot afford such luxury. People from different parts of the world visit Dubai and they all have different economic status. Iraqis and Iranians are a minority there and are not treated well, nor are they granted civil rights. The situation of Pakistanis and Indians is almost the same, but Americans and Westerners enjoy the same privileges as their royal family. And there are so many rights that people in other countries are deprived of. But the thing is that despite having so many people and compatriots, you will not find true friends here. Because most people are so proud, they can't even talk to you. Here, after a tiring day, no one will tell you to sit down and have a drink. If your family is with you in Dubai, you are lucky because without any of you, you will go crazy with frustration here. If you are a professional, then you will be provided with the best facilities here. And life will be a little easier for you. And it will be very attractive. Here you will find the best food and the best restaurants. People here pretend that they have everything and their life is very prosperous and complete. But it is not so. There is dictatorship and no one can be happy in such a life. There is a lot of money and earning in Dubai, but it is not possible for any human being to find happiness and peace here. The worst thing about this culture is that it changes and is a perfect copy of Western culture. People here imitate Western countries and then try to adopt the rules there. As a result, Dubai has no culture of its own and no significant history. You may assume that the Dubai desert would be hotter than the city in the late afternoons, but this is not the case. Many people don't realize that not only is possible to travel to Dubai during summer, but in the late afternoons, it is actually cooler in the desert than the city. About two hours before the Arabian sun sets, 
the temperature in the desert begins to cool down quite rapidly. In fact, it can be as much as 7 to 10 degrees cooler than the city and the coast. The main reason for this is because of the sand. There is not a lot of moisture in the sand, so this causes the desert to cool down rapidly in the late afternoon and early evenings. Exploring the desert in the late afternoon during the summer is one of the best things to do during a trip to Dubai. Bedouin, groups of nomadic natives who inhabited the desert regions, adapted to the desert climate accordingly. Traditionally, their desert camps were built on sand dunes in order to catch the breeze of the late afternoon. The tents are specifically designed to allow air to circulate within them, keeping them cool. Animal hair is also usually used to insulate the tents, which keeps them cooler during the day. Due to these severe conditions, there is no natural resources and agricultural industry in Dubai. This is due to lack of plowed land, intense heat, periodic locust swarms, and limited water supplies are the main obstacles to agriculture. Also, invasive species, carbon footprints, limited water resources, overfishing, waste generation, air pollution, and land degradation and desertification are posing an environmental threat to the UAE. The other drawback is the double standard of the UAE government. They act as an Islamic country and show to be very strict for Islam, but they all follow Western culture. The federal constitution declares that Islam is the official religion of the country. The government does not recognize or permit conversion from Islam to another religion. It guarantees freedom of worship as long as it does not conflict with public policy or morals. It states all persons are equal before the law and prohibits discrimination on grounds of religious belief. Recently, the idea of building every indoor park and sub-big buildings was put forward and work was done on them, but all these projects have not been yet completed, and the huge buildings we see on Google are all incomplete. There are no citizens here. There are only 20% of the people who live here, and the remaining 80% are people who come here from abroad to work. And the most interesting thing here is that not everyone here has the right to express their views and protest. If anyone tries to expose the flaws of the system here, he is punished and his mouth is shut. And that is why this dark world is hidden from the people. Despite all of this, we cannot say anything about the development of Dubai because it is a luxurious place and one of the richest places in the world. That brings us to the end of today's video. What changes should be made to improve the darker aspects of Dubai? What do you think? Do share with us in the comment section down below. Also, make sure you are subscribed to the channel and turn on the notifications so for the next time, you never miss a trip with us. Thank you for watching till the end.